Hello and welcome to another MI How To video. My name is Tom Clark, I am your host, and on today's How To, we got a really cool demonstration, so pay close attention. Let me bring on my friend DevCon Dave from DevCon. This is Dave Bongiorni. I understand we're gonna be working repairing holes, gouges, or tears in the SBR heavyweight conveyor belt because uh, it's needed. Guys could be like 20 miles out in the middle of nowhere and they, they need to repair this stuff. And DevCon has a great kit to repair all these kind of holes and gouges, right? That is correct. And the reason why you want to repair a hole that's this small, as you can see, is that the holes that start this small yeah. in a matter of days get larger and larger. Mm -hmm. And if that belt stops, their process stops and they, they actually lose millions of dollars a day to transport millions of tons. So in about 90 minutes is what you said, we can have you up and running again, no problems, no issues, that bam, is and you're good to go. First thing we wanna do, we wanna put on our PPE. You've already got your side shield glasses on. I'm gonna put mine on, and uh, we're also gonna put on gloves as well. Remember, whatever the job calls for, because safety is always priority number one. Not only are we gonna be working with tools, but we have a hardener and a resin that we're gonna be working with. That and, is correct. And uh, when you mix that, you wanna make sure that you're safe. So I'm gonna follow along and help you, Dave. It's all, DevCon Dave. I should say. So let's go. Where do we start? Well, first we have to clean the belt. Okay. As you can see here, the belt is in yeah. uh, a lot of contaminants. So we take okay. any degreaser that we have. As you can see, when you start making passes mm -hmm. to it, brings back the color yeah. and makes it clean. So when you're finished here, we have a belt that has no contaminants ready to go. So now we have our belt cleaned. Okay. And now we move to the second phase. Now we have to put a little surface profile. Now this is kind of like roughing up the surface so we can get something to adhere to it. Right, so okay. when we do that is with our grinding wheel that you have there, Tom. Okay. And that's very simple. The wheel we use is a number 36 copper wheel. And this wheel is a standard in the industry to grind this type of rubber belt. What I want you to do is actually take this and grind right. a little area there. I feel good, I can smell the rubber. Perfect. So I think we're good to go. I could smell the burn of the rubber right there. As you can see, Tom, you did a great job. Thanks. After it happens, mm -hmm. you're going to see the slight, what we call char, yeah. that comes off. So we'd like you to go across with a dry, your dry rag. You can see. Oh yeah, you can see that right some more. there. You can see we're in good shape. Okay. We're nice and clean, All right. and we have a nice abraded surface. Now do we prime the surface at any point in time? That's next. Inside the kit that you see here, we will have the surface conditioner as a separate item. All this right. item is made just to do the prep work. Inside, okay. you will see two bottles. Mm -hmm. The two bottles will have okay. a powder right. and a solution. Okay. So what we're going to do with this is we just take off the top. Right. But as you can see, Tom, it's a day glow yellow that we chose. Okay. So it's noticeable uh, in visible light. All right. And in the cold industry, when you're underground, it glows. Yeah, you need something to yeah, see. Yeah, you need okay. something to see because you right. can't see. All right. So we take the actual activate, which is the solvent that's going to help penetrate the belt. All right. We pour it into the actual container okay. in a matter of seconds. And then after that, you shake okay. it for 30 seconds. Basically, that will make sure it dissolves correctly. Okay, I'm ready to go. So what okay. I want you to do is to actually put the primer. So you depress it. Okay. Oh, whoa! Yep. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, I see. Okay. And move it around. So now I'm gonna go all the, the whole area, right? That is and correct. And I'm gonna fill it in. This is priming the surface with a additive that takes the R-Flex okay. and bonds it. Okay, so we can see right there, our surface is good to go. You can see it's all primed, it's all solid. 30 seconds, as you can Should. see, it's dry. Oh, wow, there's nothing there. Nothing okay. transfers. Nice job. Your job. Now, it might be a hot, humid day. It might yeah. be a little slower to dry. That may be up to a minute. Okay. We are ready to go. Okay. Now, I know you've got something because there's a hole in this right here, and all our stuff is going to fall through. Right. So what, what are we going to put behind here to so, make sure that our stuff doesn't go through? What we're going to be put behind there, if the belt was running on the conveyor, is right. simple duct tape. Make a good X. Yes. How's that? You got it. All right, so we turn that over, you can see we no longer have a hole in there, so we're all good to go, that's solid. Now we're ready to mix the resin and Wait. the harder. We open up the resin. Okay. Yeah, it peels off very nicely. Okay. And we can put that right here, all just right. leave it off to the side. Spatula. Uh, and the mix stick, right. I want you to show you the resin. It is a clear resin. Now we have a hardener. Uh -huh. I like to do something simple. There's a pull tab, uh, excuse me, or breakaway here. So what I do there is I push it to one side, Turn in, as you can see, squeeze the material, 
turn it over, okay. and squeeze it all out. We've got this down to a science, and we know that you leave two grams inside this container, so the actual ratio mm -hmm. is perfect. It's perfect, okay. Every time, All right. within two grams. All right. So at this point, we have ourselves around four minutes to get this low viscosity. If you notice that the color turned black, and what mm -hmm. this happens here, as you can see, there's no solvent on this, Tom. Correct. So you are activating the reaction. Gotcha. You're starting the chemical reaction. Slowly, it's getting a little bit thicker, but the whole idea is up to the first three minutes, keeping this low viscosity, which makes it really well. So now we're about a minute or two in, yeah. and we're ready to pour. And I like to put a small amount in there first. Reason why I pour the hole first and let it come up to the top is that I evacuate the air. Doing that, you're gonna get a nice smooth finish. It all depends, I usually go four to five inches mm -hmm. over the outside, I'm gonna stop for a second. Okay. The reason being, that gives you the great adhesion around the side of the belt. Right. Now, Tom, we have a real good tool here okay. that you can self-level. I'm going to kind of go in a circular motion, just move it out there like so. And then stop, Tom, for a second. Okay. And let it self-level all by itself. Okay. So anytime you touch this product, in the matter of the first four minutes. You three, can see three, how five, it's doing that, yeah. Perfectly self-levels. And basically, if that was the hole right now, we're done. And through the miracle of television, we have time-lapsed four minutes. And as you can see, the patch is not going anywhere because conveyor belts are probably not always level. And uh, Dave, you had mentioned 20 minutes. You can touch it. It won't be tacky or anything like that. Tack-free. 90 minutes, we're done. Turn the belt on. We can go back to the truck and drive back home. That's correct. Awesome. Dave, thank you so much. Dave Bonjourney, better known as DevCon Dave. Thanks for having hey, me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, and uh, just to let everybody know, yeah, this, look at that. It's, that's the stuff in there. <laughs> it's, it, it definitely is hard. That's awesome. Hey, if you like this video, you'll like others. Just go to mihowto.com and catch more videos with me, Tom Clark, as your host. Thanks so much for watching today.